In this series of videos, I'm going to be talking about common error messages that pop up in Excel and some simple solutions to how to correct them. The first one we're going to talk about is this hashtag error. Now what I've done here is that uh, I've created pi in this formula here, dividing 22 by 7. If you hover on there, you'll see the figure in there is 7 with a whole lot of noughts after the decimal point. And then the answer here, as we know, pi is a very long number. It's a recurring number that never ends. Um, but uh, in the case of Excel, it cuts it off eventually. So that's why these numbers are not fitting, is because the column width is not wide enough to take all those numbers. Now, the simple solution is you just go up the top here, and when you see the double arrow, you left click and drag until you've got the column wide enough to, to see the numbers. Uh, and a simpler way of doing it is wait until you get the double arrows and then just double click. But you can see what's happening here is the column widths are all different now because for each column, uh, it's adjusted to fit the exact number of characters that is required so that makes your spreadsheet quite untidy. Now the way you can get around that is it's all to do with um, formatting your numbers, formatting your values in the cell and formatting your cell width. So if we go here and we just do everything together, that's selecting all. And then if I go up here and I go to format, there's an option here called column width. I'll click on that. Now the column width uh, is set in points and it's more or less one point to one character. So normally about eight characters would be a standard width, but let's, let's just say 10 characters to be safe. And you'll see all the, the columns have now been adjusted to 10 characters, which are then they're all the same size and it looks quite neat. But we've still got the problem of the hashtag error. So how do we get rid of that? So we right click again and we go down to format cells. Uh, we select number and we'll select, say, a number of decimal places that will fit in 10. So if, uh, if we selected, say, four decimal places, then we should have enough space. Click on there. Then we go up again and we have a look and there it's all been corrected all the columns are the same width and all the characters are displayed because we've cut down the number of characters in each column to fit the column so once you do that everything works out fine so that's a common one uh, to look out for and that's easy to sort out now if you click on the link to the video above the screen at the moment uh, that'll take you to another video that also discusses uh, ways of correcting column width and may give you a bit more information now if you found this useful please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so and if you have any comments or questions we'd love to hear from you just scroll right down to the bottom and you'll find the comment section there I've also put in the comments section some other videos in this series that you might find useful. Thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for the next video in this series.